Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you another versatile and reasonably fast file download manager that you definitely have to try. It's called Motrix. It supports HTTP, FTP, BitTorrent, and Magnet link downloads, and supports up to 64 threads for a single download task. It has simple and clean user interface and a browser extension for automatic captures of the download links. On top of all that, it is completely free and open source. Although it is not yet able to play media file while it's being downloaded, with the ongoing development, Motrix certainly has the potential to be one of the best free download managers. All right, before I show you how to install it and add its browser extension, let me first show you how well it performs downloading large files. So for this demo, first I'm going to download a 1.1 gigabytes Android Studio installer from an HTTPS link, and then a 600 megabytes Windows XP ISO using Torrent. I'm going to do these downloads on my i5-12400 system with 16 gigabytes RAM and internet speed of about 49 megabits per second. All right, so as you can see here, the 1.1 gigabytes Android Studio installer took about 5 minutes and 30 seconds to download, which is reasonably fast but not impressive. Now let me download the Windows XP ISO using Torrent. All right, so this 600 megabytes Windows XP ISO took about 5 minutes and 5 seconds to download, which to me is okay, but again, not impressive. But please bear in mind that Torrent's download speed depends very much on the number of seeders and their upload speeds at the time of your download. So we can't really draw a conclusion on Motrix's performance based on this one download. All right, so if you want to give Motrix a try, you can grab the installer from its official website at motrix.app. Open your web browser, search for Motrix, and then click the link to motrix.app at the top of the search results. On the Motrix homepage, Click Download, and you will be brought to the Motrix download page. On the Motrix download page, first select your system, whether it's Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, and then select your preferred installer. For my case here, I'll choose the NSIS installer for Windows. Once successfully downloaded, click the Setup file, and then simply follow the instructions on the Setup wizard. Upon successful installation, if this pop-up dialog appears, Click Cancel. This ARIA 2C app is a download task management for Chrome that comes with Motrix, but we are not going to use it because we will use the Motrix Chrome extension to automatically capture the download links from the web browser. So now go back to your web browser and then go to the Chrome Web Store. On the Chrome Web Store, search for Motrix. You should see the Motrix web extension at the top of the search results. Click the Motrix web extension to add this browser extension. Once successfully added to your browser, click the Extensions button on your web browser, and then click Motrix Web Extension. On the Motrix Web Extension menu, click the gear button to open the Motrix Web Extension settings page. Now we will need to enter the Motrix RPC key on this set key input field. To get the RPC key, go back to Motrix, and then click the Preferences button at the bottom left corner of the window. On the Preferences tabs, click Advanced. On the Advanced tab, look for the RPC secret field and then click this button to generate a secret key. Then click Save and Apply, and Motrix will restart by itself. Now go back to the RPC Secret section on the Advanced Settings tab, and then click the I button to show the RPC key. Select the key, and then press Ctrl C on the keyboard to copy it. Then go back to the Motrix Web Extension Settings page, and paste the RPC key on the Set Key field. Then click the Set Key button on the right to save the RPC key. After that, if you wish, you may also change other preferences, but I would suggest to just use the default settings. All right, so now you can close this page and start using Motrix to download large files. All right, so that's how easy it is to install and use Motrix Download Manager. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.